The coronavirus is certainly scary, but despite the constant reporting and total cases and the climbing death toll, the reality is, is that the vast majority of people who come down with COVID-19 survive it. Just as the number of cases grows, so does another number, those who have recovered. In mid-March, the number of patients in the U.S. who had officially recovered from the virus was close to zero. That number is now in the tens of thousands and is climbing every day. But recovering from COVID-19 is more complicated than simply feeling better. Recovery involves biology, epidemiology, and a little bit of bureaucracy too. Once a person is exposed to the coronavirus, the body starts producing proteins called antibodies to fight the infection. As these antibodies start to successfully contain the virus and keep it from replicating in the body, symptoms usually begin to lessen and you start to feel better. Eventually, if all goes well, your immune system will completely destroy all the virus in your system. A person who is infected with and survived a virus with no long-term health effects or disabilities has recovered. On average, a person who is infected with SARS-CoV-2 will feel ill for about seven days from the onset of symptoms. Even after symptoms disappear, there still may be small amounts of the virus in a patient's system, and they should stay isolated for an additional three days to ensure that they have truly recovered and are no longer infectious. In general, once you have recovered from an infection, your body will keep cells called lymphocytes in your system. These remember viruses they've previously seen and can react quickly to fight them off again. If you are exposed to a virus you've already had, your antibodies will likely stop the virus before it starts causing symptoms. You become immune. This is the principle behind many vaccines. Unfortunately, immunity isn't perfect. For many viruses like mumps, immunity can wane over time, leaving you susceptible to the virus in the future. This is why you need to get revaccinated, those booster shots occasionally, to prompt your immune system to make more antibodies and memory cells. Since the coronavirus is so new, scientists still don't know whether people who recover from COVID-19 are immune to future infections of the virus. Doctors are finding antibodies in ill and recovered patients, and that indicates the development of immunity. But the question remains how long that immunity will last. Other coronaviruses like SARS and MERS produce an immune response that will protect a person for at least a short time. You'd expect the same to be true for SARS-CoV-2, but the research simply hasn't been done yet to say so definitively. Knowing whether or not people are immune to COVID-19 after they recover is going to determine what individuals, communities, and society at large can do going forward. If scientists can show that recovered patients are immune to the coronavirus, then a person who has recovered could, in theory, help support the healthcare system by caring for those who are infected. Once communities pass the peak of the epidemic, the number of new infections will decline while the number of recovered people will increase. As these trends continue, the risk of transmission will fall. Once the risk of transmission has fallen enough, community level isolation and social distancing orders will begin to relax and businesses will start to reopen.